It's nesting season in Mission Bay. Endangered birds called least terns have built almost 100 nests in the sand and brush on Mariner's Point. They're right next to boaters and other people in the park, and planes fly constantly overhead. But the birds don't seem to mind. These are some well cared for terns. In late March, volunteers from SDG&E and the San Diego Audubon Society helped clear out their nesting area. So what we need to do is make sure that that area is clear of vegetation uh, so that it basically it can always have a visu visually see the predators if they fly in. Oh wait, there's some under here. Chris Redfern, the executive director of San Diego Audubon, says they remove tall non-native bushes. That's so the least terns can see predators like seagulls and falcons coming. They need to see that bird coming so that they can all rise up together as a group. They flush up into the air and then they mob the predator by dive bombing it, uh, you know, pooping on it, you know, to drive it away from the site. They migrate 3,000 miles from South America to nest in San Diego and along California's coast. If they think a nesting site has too many tall bushes, they'll turn up their beaks at it. Oh God. The problem is, then they might not nest at all. After Mariner's Point was made just the way the terns like it, about 100 birds arrived and settled in. They built nests, laid eggs, and a few weeks later, chicks hatched. But least turn care didn't stop there. Now volunteers are spending hours sitting outside the nesting area to keep watch over the birds. Mother and daughter Padma Jagannathan and Suri Kandidi are on the lookout for predators. We've seen yeah, a couple we've of seen osprey lots of gulls and, yeah. and we've seen gulls, but uh, nothing like a raptor, uh, like a falcon or... Hey, you've seen one before. When they see one, they write it down. If the predator is herding terns or stealing their eggs, they can call wildlife services and ask them to remove it. But Rebecca Schwartz, Audubon's conservation program manager, says this can get tricky when the predator itself is endangered. With the peregrine falcon, they were only recently delisted from the endangered species list, but they're still a fully protected species in the state of California. So it becomes a really complicated situation when you have one threatened species predating an endangered species. It's not a simple solution. Autobahn volunteers need to provide proof the falcon is a turn herding repeat offender. Then the falcon can be trapped and taken all the way to the Oregon border. All of this effort to protect the least turn might seem like it goes against nature taking its course, but Schwartz sees it differently. The thing is, in a natural system, they would be totally fine. So before people were here and people in cars and dogs and cats and urban predators, the turns were doing great. They could even sustain a really high level of predation. But because our beaches are so heavily utilized and all of their nesting is restricted to these tiny little, you know, islands that we set aside for them, it makes them so vulnerable. During nesting season, no one can go in the fenced off park prepared for the turns. So volunteer turn watchers sit on a bluff just outside looking through binoculars. Bill Whiteside has been out at 6 a.m. almost every day watching the turns, but he says he doesn't get bored. Yeah, I can get bored somewhere else. <laughs> it's fun just being able to watch the birds and just kind of quiet your mind. And, and it, it's a beautiful setting. He also hooks up his iPhone with his telescope to record close-ups of the birds like this one. Whiteside and the other volunteers are also in on the secret. Many who visit Mission Bay to boat, run, or lie in the sand likely don't know that just a few yards away, an endangered species is struggling to make a comeback. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.